Racing, swimming, art. Three of Indiana's passions brought together for these custom IndyCar helmets literally made for Olympians. 13 different viewpoints leading to a memento of a lifetime for Team USA. I feel like each and every one of these helmets individually is a masterpiece in itself. Amaya Mims organized the project put together by the Indiana Sports Corp, enlisting 13 different artists to design two different IndyCar helmets each. Amaya designed to herself. I just wanted to take the bottom of a pool um, and make it a fun pattern across the entire helmet. Coda Witzkin was one of the artists as well. My goal was to tell stories from different angles and vantage points as a swimmer. All 52 members of the U.S. Olympic swim team will be going home with one of these helmets that's awesome. IMS President Doug Bowles says he wishes he was fast enough in the pool to earn one. It's pretty cool to think that our, when you get to know you're going to Paris, that you're going to remember that through something that's definitely Indianapolis, and that's a racing helmet. The Indy Art doesn't stop there for the swim trials. The All Lanes Lead to Indy Art Project commissioned five different pieces from five different local artists. You can see the murals on Georgia Street and in the Aqua Zone. I really tried to get in get in the space of the swimmer and the excitement and the um, the hard work and determination. Lucy Rice participated in both projects. It's not her first time having a hand in Indy's art scene this year. She designed a giant basketball for NBA All-Star Weekend. To these artists, it's all a part of a push to include local art in more big events across the city. I feel like there are a lot of different entities here that have been working to push that, um, to give artists a lot more opportunity. If you want to design your own IndyCar swimming helmet, you've got coloring sheets right here inside the Indiana Convention Center. This is mine so far. Don't judge it yet, though. It's a work in progress. Reporting here in downtown, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.